Hello, on this video we are going to see how to install the Jormungander ROS node in the fastest way possible. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Jormungander uh, documentation website, which looks like this, and then uh, go to the command lines and tools section. Here you are going to install from a release, you can also do it from source, but from a release is the fastest way to do it. So go to the, we go to the release sections, we open that in a new tab. Here we have the different versions. In my case, I'm using a 64-bit computer because it's an Intel, an Intel computer. I know it's a 64-bit and it's a Linux computer. If you were using a Windows or when you're using a Mac, you will select a different file. Let's go and select this one for the one for my distribution. And I'm going to save it in my home directory with a new folder called your Monlander. I create a new folder and I save the file there. Okay, once there, I open my terminal. I open and here I can see that there is a file, the compressed file. Then I uncompress it. In Windows and Mac, it's you know it's just, it's very easy to uncompress a file, and here I have two uh, executable files. Now I need to make these files available to the operating system. That that means adding them to the path. In the linked or the description, you can see how to set up the path for uh, Windows and Mac. In the case of Linux, the way to set up something in the path there are several, but the easiest one for me is to go to my dot go to my home directory go to my local bin folder and from there create a, what's called a sim link between uh, the files the, the file I will do the same for GCLI. Mm -hmm. And the way to know that works is you open a new terminal, go to any place in your home directory and just type which GCLI and it tells you the location. So which means it can find it can find it. And then you can see, for example, GCLI does just help. And here you can see the, the interactive help for the, for the tool. Okay, now the next step is also very easy. We need to download a magic script. So we go here to the code section in the website. And here in the code, let's go to uh, scripts. In scripts, we have this one called the stake pool single node test. This script is going to be maintained by the team. so. It's going to be updated with new versions. And here, just save it. We will save it in the same folder. Just we'll save it as an sh file to say it's a script. If I go here and list my directories, you can see I have the file here. But the operating system doesn't know this is an executable, executable program, so we need to add permissions. In Mac and Windows, you do this with your right click of the mouse. So you just make it executable. Now it's executable because we have a, the, the green color, right? And we execute this file. Uh, for us, it has created an account address called the faucet with a public address, with a secret key, with an amount of tokens right that we can uh, we can um, split or send a pull id and it gives us a very handy instruction here where we can start the node so we copy that and execute it and that way the node is running um, and that's it that's very that's the fastest way to create a the, your um, your test to your test node in the next videos, we're going to explain what did the magic script do for us, where to create uh, 
other wallets so that we can actually have transactions between them and we can see how the blockchain gets updated on the different epochs and blocks. See you then.